So over the past three months, we've been doing this thing called our social media music teacher community showcase. And what it pretty much is, is like, it's a way for us to be able to share our value of making sure that we make the time to be a musician again, especially with growing music school, we can get really busy with getting a full schedule or, or making the time to do our marketing. But, you know, for ourselves, we need to make sure we have that time as well. And, and, uh, I first got this idea from one of my clients actually as well. I had a client with, uh, she's a voice teacher and she has a really big YouTube channel. I think she's almost at like 500,000 subscribers. Now she's going to hit that soon. Um, but one of the things that she does is that like, uh, every so often she'll gather like a, all of her students recordings, ask students to submit it and she will show it to, she'll like post a video to her channel. And I think that was so cool because like one, it gives students a way to be able to practice their performance. Uh, without it needing to be in like a live setting. Uh, but two, if I was a student, I think that's really cool. Like my, my performance gets to be shown to like almost 500,000 viewers. And, and that's really, I think, I think that's like a really cool component of like what we do as teachers that we get to show off our students. And that's something that I see. I, I don't see a lot of teachers doing as often. Maybe it's because people are scared of like, oh, what do people don't want to put me online or, or, or things like that. But I just think that if more teachers posted more about their students winning and then more, more of their students playing more, like it'd be so easy to get more students into your community as well. So that, that really inspired me to create something like this, our community showcase. It's just a way for us to be able to share our music, um, but remind us that we need to make the time to be musicians as well. So um, I've linked that down in the comments. So if you want to check it out, if you want to show your support, feel free to live, leave a little love on that. Um, it's really fun. It's really optional. But I recommend you doing that as well with your students um, and using that as a way to not only give your students the performance experience that they need, um, but two, it gives you a chance to use that as like your own marketing material as well, of course, with their permission. But, um, but I think this is, I think this is something that music schools and music teachers need to do more regularly as well. Like not only is our job to teach students how to create music, how to play with music, but also how to share with music as well. Um, I believe last week or maybe a couple of weeks ago, like I did a workshop all around the new music school model. And a big part of that model is all around community. And, and the, the reason why community is so important is because it not only helps us attract dream students who stay, pay and refer, but it fosters an environment where music is able to thrive. Right. It's, it's, I feel like the counterintuitive process is sticking a, a kid in a private lesson or in a practice room and making them grind out music for years and years and years, at least. That's what I, that's what, that's what I went through. Right. And it didn't turn out that well, um, <laughs> at least for me, my experience wasn't that good as a part of that. So if I had a chance to be able to actually see what music was all about, be able to share that music, be able to show it off, I think it would have been a lot more fun and I would have enjoyed that experience more often as well. Um, so for you. Thinking about that, like how can you be able to create more opportunities for your students to share music? How can you create more opportunities for your students to show off what they're doing as well? But also how can you like kill two birds with one stone and be able to use that as a way to show like how awesome your community is, how, how much how much student success is happening in your music school. Uh, so next time that you are thinking about whether should I create a recital or should I create um, a new performance opportunity for students? Thinking about how can I leverage videos? How can I get my students to be self-led and to maybe film themselves playing their videos to, to create a platform for them to be able to share it out to, you know, their friends and their families as well. One of the things that one of my, one of our clients um, has done is that uh, they've created like a YouTube platform for the music school 
so that they can be able to capture recordings of what happens during the group lessons. Um, so they'll film the student playing, upload on the YouTube channel, but that gives them a chance to use that as marketing material for their music school, but also they can send that to the parents. They can send that to the students and the students can be able to share that with their friends and family as well. It, it just creates this environment where like they want to make music and they want to be able to share it more often as well. So not only do we need to do that with our students, but we need to make sure that we're doing that with ourselves as well. And this is something you can have fun with, something that you can play around with too. Like how often do your students actually get to see you in your element? How often do they get to see you in your craft? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's every, every lesson, but uh, a lot of times I hear teachers wish they had the time to practice, wish they had the time to perform. Um, I would say, let's make those opportunities happen. So love to hear your thoughts on like creating these types of contents, creating something like this for your music school as well. Like how can you be able to start doing that for yourself?